Hey everybody, it's me again. I have something really cool to talk to you guys about real quick though. And I wanted to mention it in my last video. Um, and then I just kind of, I don't want to use the word forgot anymore. We need to come up with a better word than that. Um, you know, living from your heart, things are inspired and then they kind of fade away and then they come back and then they fade away and then they come back. So. I really don't want to use the word forgot. I feel like it has this negative connotation that I'm just not paying attention. And that is far from the truth. But with that being said, one of the things that I think is really important for all of us right now, and I'm talking to all of us light workers, truth seekers, and people who just want to live their passion. Um, I really want us to all find a way that we can start coming together and we can start shifting in these ways. Um, and the reason this is coming, coming up right now is because I have had the amazing experience of being able to connect with a lot of people in this community. Um, because I, I really put myself out there, obviously. Um, it, uh, this was kind of never the plan. This was never the plan. Um, this is just where my ascension journey has taken me. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there that have brilliant ideas to serve humanity, brilliant ideas to help one another, help each other grow. Um, ways to reach each other and ways to explain this ascension process. And we're just really hitting the tip of the iceberg with this. Um, I am not only a light worker, but I also am a truther and I follow the truth movement and I push the truth movement. And part of Everything that's kind of going on in our world right now with all of this disclosure and corruption coming to the surface, um, it's making way and making room for the light to come in. So what does that look like? Like, let's think about for that. Think about that for a second. Like as America is expanding in this way, what is that going to look like? You know, what, what are our school system is going to look like? What is our health care going to look like? What is our governmental system going to look like? Um, I know eventually all of these systems will dissolve. I've been told that and I do, that rings true in my heart. So I know that a lot of these systems are going to dissolve. But right now as a, as a society, we're still in the mindset that we need these things. So with this shift of disclosure, a lot of these things are going to have to change. Um, and still be present for a little while because not everybody's belief systems is on the same page. And while people still have belief systems, we need to work with them. We need to work within these constructs to make our world a better place. So that's something that has really kind of been percolating, percolating with me is like, okay, where do we go from here? You know, where do we go from here? I know there's people out there, I mean, there's a lot of people out there who are, you know, extending themselves in this new movement of journalism, right? We are bypassing mainstream media and we are coming to places like, uh, you know, YouTube and, and other unconventional social media platforms that haven't been infiltrated already. So there's just, there's a lot out there and there's people who are trying to create, um, you know, movements to maybe create a more friendly environment for children who are growing up with, um, a lot of these spiritual gifts that, you know, people like myself grew up with also, but it was shut down really fast because it was unknown and too far fetched and it just wasn't really out there. So I know there's a lot of facets to all of this and I want everybody to come together. So what I think would be really cool, and if y'all are interested, we can find other ways to do this also. 
But you know, maybe in the comments in this video, we can start listing off our passions. Like, what are you desiring? What are you desiring to do as a service to others? Uh, moving your life from a service to self into a service to others, what does that work look like for you? Does it show up as, you know, being a healer and doing energy work and putting yourself out on a platform like this? Um, does it mean you want to come up with new curriculum and maybe find a new structure for some sort of an educational system? Whether it would be, you know, an educational um, spirituality or an actual educational system, you know? We, here's what I do know about all of this. What I do know is all you have to do is have your heart in the right place and put some action to your desire and things will start to unravel. It's all about following the popcorn trail. It's not that you have this great idea and you're going to put this energy into it and it's just going to automatically manifest because a lot of times we're inspired to these ideas that are only there to lead us to what's next or you know, what's true for us next, you know, what's on the path next that maybe we can't see without this one piece of desire that we're going to chase. Um, if that makes sense, you know, I like, it's like the Hansel and Gretel theory, right? They leave all the breadcrumbs and then they follow the breadcrumbs back. Uh, that's their intent <laughs> anyway. Um, and that's kind of how source is leading us along. You know, that's how source is kind of getting us out of this witch's cauldron and leading us home. It's breadcrumbs, you know? And you just have to follow these instinctual nudges, these creative nudges, um, and stuff like that. So, anyways, I've had the pleasure of working and co-creating with a lot of wonderful people because I put myself on this platform. And I want you guys to be, be able to come to live together, be able to come together and live your passions, live your purpose. Um, and if not, play in that energy and just see what happens, right? So what I was thinking is, is maybe in the comments, we could all, you know, write out a comment of what your passion is. What are you doing? Um, you might find somebody or connect with somebody who has a key to a creation or a manifestation that you're willing to work on next. And that's what this is all about. Bringing us light workers together to co-create, to put information, knowledge, inspiration, love, and hope back into humanity. Um, and I think it's time. I think it's time for us all to start to connect in this way. So if you do something that you are passionate about and you're really wanting to network and connect with others, I think that we should start putting, um, putting ourselves out there. And I'm going to allow you to use my platform to do that. So comment down below. And um, yeah, start connecting. If you're inspired, if you go and read through these comments and you're inspired to meet up with somebody or somebody's in your area, and we don't even have to be in the same area. I've been working with people in San Francisco area, Los Angeles area, Chicago area, um, Canada. Um, I, I mean, there, people are all over. This spiritual network, the people who are living the way we live and believing the way we believe and feeling the way we feel, um, as far as like these passions and these ascension energies go, like they are all over the place, but we are all connected through the internet, which is so cool. So reach out to some people, start to make things happen. And you know what? If you reach out to somebody and it's a dead end road, oh well, you put action towards a desire and that's enough, you know, that's enough. Um, and from that will come more momentum to attract more things along the path and purpose that you're desiring. So go for it. We have nothing to lose. None of us. Not, not one of us. We are all creators. We are very strong and powerful creators. And the energy that's here right now is here to support us. And... With all of that being said, I wanted to share with you guys a little co-creation of a gentleman who reached out to me. His name is Joe. He um, reached out to me. He was inspired by the Augzil channel that I put together, and he wrote up a screen play, 
And he went out and found people that would be willing to volunteer their time to help him co-create this and really put this together. And I think that is the bravest thing we can do right now is to take action on these passions that feel like our life's purpose. And I think that within that action, the universe is just going to keep bringing in more people that are going to be able to co-create with us in all these really cool ways, you guys. It's just absolutely amazing. So without further ado, I am going to allow the video to just go ahead and play. And you guys can watch Joe's production here. I'm going to link his um, YouTube channel in the description box. If you guys want to go give him a shout out, go ahead. He's an amazing, amazing person with a heart of gold. And it has just been an absolute pleasure to work with him on this project and, um, you know, some energy work that we've been doing. So really, really cool. And I have so much love for you, Joe. Thank you so much for listening to the message and feeling it and letting it shift you and letting it change you because that in itself is enough too. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is so gorgeous here. Light breeze, not too hot. We're not even breaking a hundred here in Texas. So that's been wonderful. But um, let's move on into Joe's beautiful creation here in this little video that he put together and give him a great shout out and send him some love, y'all. Okay? And come together. Put your comments down there. Let's start connecting. Um, I want to be a conduit of light workers connecting. So let's come together. Let's work together in whatever ways we need to to continue to push this energy along because the world's not going to change itself, you guys. We're here to change this world, okay? And whatever happens because of the energetics and the heightened frequencies and, and our body shifting and all of that, whatever happens because of that, wonderful. But our purpose is here right now, so let's do it. Okay? I love you guys. Bye. Romeo and Juliet. Who picked this music? What did you have in mind? Something better than this. Can we put on the TV so we can watch it together? Sure. What are you watching? The Energetic Alchemist. Is that a movie? No, it's our YouTube channel. So, uh, don't mind the redness. I am like, my body is having all these crazy energetic things today. So, so intense. Do you guys always so, speak in unison? No. Real quick first before we get into this video. Um, last night, when I was laying in bed, I was listening to a couple of things on YouTube, um, like some spiritual things, and I started to feel like this spinning, almost like vertigo, but it definitely was not vertigo. And I was laying down, and then I started- What are they watching? Some spiritual like, YouTube. It was almost like I was about to pop out of my body. Um, and I was fully awake, I was doing things, I wasn't in a meditative state, I wasn't sleeping. Um, so the energy left me. Where's everybody at? Not here yet. <laughs> More for us. You look like you were hypnotized. Very funny. Hey, fast forward to where channel starts. Hey guys, want to see the channel? The what? A lady who channels. What? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> who watches TV at a party? I wouldn't exactly call this a party. <laughs> now, we're going to go ahead and move into the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I love talking about this stuff and I love being here with y'all. So here we go. 
and I definitely do not have this memorized or anything like that, so I am gonna just go through and read the channel. <laughs> All right already. Okay. Shh. There are multiple layers of the mass awakening event at hand, and we would like it if you began to discuss these concepts on your platforms as the world you have now is beginning to unravel before your very eyes. We will begin first by discussing the ascension process and the individual awakening that's been happening to those like yourself and others within your vibrational collective. Is this a sci-fi channel? Oh yeah, she's a sci-fi channel, all right. The ascension process has been an energetic transformational journey that was ignited in the days of harmonic resonance. This was some 30 years ago. The energetic waves of light-coated energy were being brought forth unto Gaia to begin to open people in ways in which it was inevitable that they begin to connect to who they really are. This energy began to snowball and has paved the way for the light workers that you see today. Early January 2018, the waves of light-coated energy were stronger than ever to clear the human vessel of density and speed up the process of opening the genetic human coding. This is a very essential process to moving into the era of fifth dimensional consciousness and into the fifth dimensional human. All of this has led us to today. We are in the days of the calm before the storm per se. Your world is about to shift dramatically. This is why we have been bringing these questions and awarenesses to your attention. We want people to find the purpose in their now awakening. Why are you awakening before the masses? What the hell is she talking about? Just listen. You are awakening before the masses because you created a soul contract before your earthly incarnation and you were on a mission. Mission Nova Gaia. Your mission is to be a being who remembers that they come from and are pure creator source energy. And within this remembering, it is your divine purpose to begin to embody this high vibrational aspect of yourself so that you can be a beacon of light for others. You will be needed. You are needed now, but even more so in the days to come. So many people on this path are still living in singularity and not really thinking about their com contribution to the whole. If you are still judging another, you are still judging yourself. If you deny another, you deny yourself. It's time to put these spiritual practices and awakenings into your day-to-day -day experience. By being an example and exuding the light and love of all that is you, you raise the entire vibration of the world and the multiverse. It is now time to own your power. You need to do this as it is why you have come. To think that you came here just for the experience is diluting the power of your being. You came here as an energetic elder, as a lighthouse on a dark night, calling those who need you home. Now on to the next part. Disclosure. There soon will be massive amounts of information that will be made public of the programming of the simulation matrix that you live in. Many people who have never considered these concepts will be extremely confused. This government disclosure will happen alongside of the non-terrestrial being disclosure also. The masses have been taught to fear anything otherworldly and their heads will begin spinning to hear that they are all here to help guide us home. This is why you have been awakened ahead of the masses. During the time of disclosure, you and your vibrational collective 
will assist those who are needing your help the most. There will be assistance in the form of healing modalities that have been studied and learned, Reiki, channeling, and light language, just to name a few, and many more facets that will develop as your fifth dimensional senses arise. These times are not next year or down the road. These times are your immediate future. While dates and predictions will always be off as to when this will all unfold, it is absolutely imminent. We do not want to divulge exact timing as the surprise element is a part of this natural ascension event that is on the precipice of manifesting. But this does not mean that we do not want you to be ready. You need to practice your connection every day. The unfolding of events of events at hand will even catch the most knowing off guard. There is not one of you that has foreseen the beautiful changes at hand for your planet. Know that you are ready. Know that love will abound. Know that you will be needed. Trust your calling. Trust the divine timing of your life. You are a way shower. You are a beacon of light. You are the one who will comfort and console those close to you in confusing times and show them the way to their connection. They are going to begin to see that there is so much more to this earthly life than what they have been taught. And you will need to help show them how to find themselves, how to find their source within. The time is now, my beloveds, and you are more than ready. What you are wanting is coming. You will live in a new world. There will be things that will unfold in the days before this cosmic flash that is coming from the galactic central sun that is actually already here and sitting in a portal just inside your sun. In divine timing, it'll be released directly onto the earth and it will be felt and known by all. Afterwards, your real purpose will begin. As a collective, you will begin to discover your natural blueprint of the human body. You will heal and you will grow. Your life will be more magical and exciting than you can even fathom. The time is now. These final days are approaching. Make sure you are ready, loved ones. You are going to be a beautiful and angelic gift that shows up in some of humanity's darkest times. Do not fear. The only fear that will be harnessed before this flash event will be the unlearning and relearning of an entire lifetime in a matter of days. We prefer to call this confusion. People will seek you out. People who know that you know more about this spiritual world will need to have conversations with you to relearn their place in all of this as the veil of illusion drops. Stand tall and love them through it just as we have loved you. The lines that formed to incarnate at this time for this exact experience was never ending. Beings from universes far and wide are parked in your atmosphere to get a first-hand look into, the, into an ascension unlike anything that has ever been seen. You are so blessed and you are the right ones for the job. You have summoned the change you were looking for, and now we are all here to say, present yourself and your gifts. This will not be a time to hide in the shadows, and as all of this unfolds, there isn't one awakened soul who would choose to do so anyway. There is so much love here waiting for you, Worry less about when you think this will happen and more onto your contribution to humanity during these times. 
You are here to fulfill a purpose that will change all of history forevermore. We love you, Augzil and the Protectors. Such a beautiful channel, you guys. Such beautiful information. Such great guidance. I don't really know what to say. Me neither. That was beautiful. It was. We liked it. There is a sense of urgency right now, you know? Um, I think we really do have to step up our game. <laughs> you know, stay in your connection. Spread love wherever you go. Really try to... Just project love into the rooms that you're in, with the people that you talk to. I mean, I drive down the street and sometimes I'm like, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, but just play with the energy and stay in your good vibe because you are being awakened for a reason. We all are. And this is also why we're all coming together. The synchronicities of all of us coming together to share all of this information. Um, you can't make this stuff up. You can't. I know you feel this energy too. And I know some of you feel um, secluded or, or maybe alone and just know you're never alone. We're all in this together and this is not gonna be done in vain. All of this is for the greater good of humanity and it's gonna be such a beautiful process. It already is such a beautiful process. What did you think? I think we could have had more beer. <laughs> Where can I find out more about this stuff? Really? Well, first, know that none of this is about someone else doing something for you or to you. And second, if you're going to start listening to this kind of thing, if they dwell on something fearful, it's a good idea to move on because it's really easy to get sucked into fear. And finally, but most importantly, trust the way you feel about whatever, whatever you see, whatever you hear, experience, trust yourself. Wow, where have you been hiding the side of you? I guess it's time to come out of the closet. <laughs> Seriously though, do you have anybody else you would suggest me listening to? We like Aluna. And Blossom. And Allison. And Marina. And Gigi. How do you know? They don't always speak in unison. <laughs>